go get them slabs. The best crappie anglers in the nation descend upon the land of the giants, Grenada Lake, Mississippi, for the inaugural event for the American Crappie Trail. But the weather is taking center stage. All right, we got one on. Can these teams put together a winning pattern on the American Crappie Trail? We're hanging with it. We ain't giving up. There's your card right there. All right, you guys are good. Good luck. Hello, I'm Sam Heaton with Matt Morgan. And with this is the launch of the American Crappie Trail on beautiful Lake Grenada. As you can see, we have a beautiful day. <laughs> it's a little bit damp, but great lake to fish in. Matt, what do you predict? Sam, 2017 started American Crappie Trail. It's on Grenada Lake, first event at one of the lakes with the biggest fish in the entire country. Yeah. We've got anglers from 14, 15 states. We've got some of the most veteran anglers in the entire country. We've got some new anglers, guys that have never fished tournaments before, ever. I'm excited. American Crappie Trails is raising the bar of crappie fishing. But obviously you can see the wind is blowing, it's rainy. It's going to be a tough, tough fight. It's going to be the guys who are persistent, the guys who've got the focus, the guys who can withstand the weather over the next two days to try to bring me 14 fish. Going into this event, it's hard to discount the fact that Ronnie Cap, Steve Coleman, anywhere they go, the Mississippi I-55 corridor has been really good to them over the years. Right. Got Whitey Outlaw, Mike Parrott, Tim Blackley, Jackie Van Cleve. We've got some Indiana anglers, Tom Hankins and Ron Bilbrey. It's gonna be a shootout because we've got the best of the best in the country. Right. I'm so excited about the new format. It's really going to be a, a great thing for the sport of crappie fishing. Well, when you bring up some of the format changes with a 10-day off-limit period, mm -hmm. a no information sharing rule, mm -hmm. live well checks, launching from central locations, those are things that have never been done in the crappie fishing right. industry. But it keeps everything transparent. It keeps everyone on a level playing level field. Playing field. An American crappie trail, I'm really excited to see what the future holds. I'm excited too. Let's get out on the water and see what the kickoff of 2017 has to offer. The American Crappie Trail allows teams to run to their starting areas, but can only begin fishing at the official start time. Waiting for the seconds to tick off can be nerve wracking. We got eight minutes. Eight minutes? Yeah. Get started here, day one. Grenada Lake, American Crappie Trail. Listen, get those big mamas. Three pounders. Trying to get everything set up. Man, this is a Engle live bait cooler. And this is full of crappie baits. I'm a firm believer that those big three pounders didn't get big eating plastic. The Lucas Oil team of Kent Watson and Matthew Outlaw are starting in open water battling the winds for the only pattern they put together in practice. Practice was a tough down here, not a lot of fish, but we did um, yesterday right here in this area caught four or five real nice fish. If this wind would lay down a little bit this afternoon, we, should, we hope we get seven good ones out of this area right here. Kent Driscoll and partner Barry Cannon are tucked out of the wind. The cold temperatures are having a bigger impact on their bite. It's slow. Um, but the morning bite has been slow all week, so that's kind of to be expected. We've got one big fish. We're in a good area. We know we're in a good area. We're seeing a lot of fish on the fish finder down here. This Lawrence is, they don't lie, they're here. They're just not biting good yet, so we're gonna wait them out. The conditions are pretty good. We don't have a whole lot of wind. We don't have too much boat traffic right now. And uh, we're just gonna lay in here with them. The, the key for us is we're fishing pretty slow, about three-tenths of a mile an hour. We're using our GPS, you can see here. We're fishing uh, double minnow rigs with a uh, Arky chartreuse and orange minnow teaser. And that is the only bait we can get these fish to bite. Like that. <laughs> Spider rigging in open water, the team of Watson and Outlaw are starting to put a pattern together.
Grenada Lake is one of the premier crappie fisheries in the nation, and this fish is proof of that. Lucas Oil Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Outboard Engine Oil will not only produce a level of confidence with each trip to the lake, but also provide trust backed by rigorous testing on the track as well as on the water. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil has an extensive additive package that will provide clean burning, smooth running, and maximum performance stability to any outboard on the market today. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil will not void your manufacturer's warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil, it works. More than a century ago, General Tire was born, right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them, and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Clean up your toughest messes super easy, super fast. Only Super Clean is formulated to do the work for you. Just spray it on and watch the grease and grime wash away. Super Clean is the only cleaner degreaser that is scientifically formulated to kick any mess to the curb. So you can move on to more important things. For all of your greasiest, grimiest, toughest tasks around the house, shop, or garage, Super Clean gets the job done. Super Clean, super easy, super fast. B&M Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, B&M has your pole. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. B&M Poles, official pole of the American Crappie Trail. The American Crappie Trail is brought to you by Lucas Oil Marine Products. Made in America, sold to the world. By Ranger Boats, driven to dominate. Super clean, super easy, super fast, super clean. By General Tire, anywhere is possible. And by these other proud sponsors. Grenada, Mississippi is proud to host the inaugural tournament of the American Crappie Trail. Deemed the city that smiles, this friendly southern town rolled out the red carpet for our teams. I always say that the, the city of Grenada, Mississippi is the finest city in the state of Mississippi. Just want to talk to you a little bit about the, how important it is to have the American Crappie Trail here in Grenada. Grenada's reservoir, the Grenada Lake, is, is the largest reservoir in the state of Mississippi. The city of Grenada is located exactly perfect, right on I-55 in the north central part of the state. This is the, the, the epicenter of where crappie fishing is for me in the world. Uh, you're gonna have your best crappie fishing right here in this area. And so not only do you have the American Crappie Trail that recognizes how good of an area it is for them to bring this event, but it also boosts up what we're doing in Grenada, what we're doing in the Delta and in the Hills regions, and then what we're doing for the state of Mississippi. Grenada Lake, located at the entrance of the Mississippi Delta, is a 36,000 acre crappie paradise. Often called Land of the Giants, many tournaments see fish in the three pound range. However, on day one, it is apparent that the cold weather and recent rains are the dominating factor. Well, so far this morning, we've had a tough morning. Honestly, it's a little tougher than I expected. We've been getting five or six bites an hour um, pre-fishing down here. Um, in this area and you know we're fishing for suspended fish and they're, they're on the move just tough as it gets right here fishing suspended fish at Grenada Lake here and having having us uh just a tough time really oh uh, tougher than I'm used to at, at Grenada so we got a rain about three days ago and it's progressively gotten worse each day which we're we're gaining about a we've gained about a foot a little over a foot of water so it's really uh, really turned them off it really has the morning clouds roll away, bringing hope of warming temps and a more aggressive bite. Well, we're, we're slow trolling uh, jigs and minnows in uh, stump field, about four or five foot of water. Yeah. There he is. There he is. There he is. Good fish too. The water's warm enough, fish should be moving in here to spawn. And uh, it's slow today. 
uh, the changing weather conditions. We uh, we got a few fish caught. Uh, they're just reluctant to hit. They, I think there's fish here. They're just just not biting too too aggressively. Lake Grenada was stingy on day one, with only three teams weighing in a seven fish limit. But true to its name, Grenada produced some giant crappie. The bar was raised when Bushard and Morgan brought the first limit to the scales and secured the third position with 12.24 pounds. 12.24, that's solid, solid string, guys. Here comes another Grenada stringer. How was it today? World champion anglers Caps and Coleman brought seven fish to the scales that weighed 13.78 pounds to slip into second. And leading after day one is Bilbury and Hankins. Right up there, tell me about it. Hold on, everybody. 1497. We got a new leader right in first place. That's it. You got it, guys. Bilbrey and Hankins' 14.97 pound seven fish limit put them just over a pound in front of Caps and Coleman, setting up a battle going into the final day of the American Crappie Trail on Lake Grenada. Martin Metal, the specialists for your post frame or stud frame structure. Whether your project is agricultural or residential, we are the one-stop shop for your building needs with the goal to always provide quality products at competitive prices. With great service, Martin Metal is more than metal. We have our own trust plant for your trust needs. Our lumber yard has the highest grade of lumber available in the area, and our window and door options are as diverse as the buildings we supply for. Martin Metal, where our motto has always been, working hard for your success. put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell or fish. Look, if you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. Land, water, seed, and sunshine. It's what farmers need to make things grow. At Mid-State Seed, we take pride in our partners and grow friendships too, providing quality seed farmers can count on. From quality control to packaging and shipping, Mid-State Seed works hard to distribute affordable product from America's heartland. Mid-State Seed, firmly planted in partnership. Hey, this is Steve Woods, Kirk Auto Group in Grenada, Mississippi. We're glad to be a part of the American Crappie Trail when y'all come here to Grenada, Mississippi. We got some of the largest crappie out here in our lake, and we're proud of that. We also have some of the best and biggest trucks on the market. We've got uh, over 400 trucks here on the lot. We'd love for you to come out here after you catch a bunch of crappie and check a few of them out. We, we only came out with six yesterday, so I'd like to see seven, and uh, some nice ones would be nice too. Road runners did pretty good for us yesterday. Today we're gonna try to repeat the same course. Uh, going back to the same spot we would, was, it's been doing good for us for the past couple of months. So we depend to get on. Final day of the American Crappie Trail on Grenada Lake, Mississippi. Yesterday ended with sunny skies and calm winds. This morning threatens torrential rains and high winds, which will make it tough on our anglers. Yeah, crappie, crappie, crappie. It's freezing. Trying to get our crappie in the boat, can't catch them. When you go with the wind, you can't really fish where you want to fish. Welcome back to American Crappie Trail here on Grenada Lake 2017. Matt, what's going on? Sam, the wind's blowing like crazy. It's blowing 20, 25 mile an hour. The anglers have only got a few places they can actually tuck in and get out of the wind. The problem is we've had a lot of rain. Obviously, it's raining crazy now, cats and dogs right yeah. now. A lot of water coming into the lake. That will shut the bite off on a crappie. Mm -hmm. For those sitting at home, crappie do not like fresh water. No. It's more of a backwater type no. fish. Right. So right now, we've got a lot of influx of fresh water. 
and the guys are struggling. The guys are fishing slow. They're fishing double minnow rigs, live bait presentation. Some guys are fishing jigs, but the majority of them are going to live bait presentation right now. I got a question, pre-spawn or post-spawn? Pre-spawn period, those fish right now are just in a little bit of a funk. The water temperature was up about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We've had some, some water temperatures that were in the, the mid 60s. In the last couple days, as cold as it's been in all this water, the water temperatures have fell. I don't care if it's a crappie, a catfish, a bass, when water temperatures go up and then they come back down, it throws the fish into a little bit of a shot. Exactly. You know that. Exactly. So right now, they're just absolutely having to creep along. They're moving at a very methodical, slow pace in order to try to just throw a piece of bait right in front of one of those fish to make it bite. The guys are really, really struggling, but it's the ones that have the focus, Sam, mm -hmm. that have the opportunity to win this tournament. Let's get out there and see who's going to win this new Ranger boat here at Grenada, Mississippi, 2017 American Crappie Trail. Oh, come on. Our finger's pretty cold. We've had a good morning already. We've had some bites and, uh, you know, uh, 12 bites is all we got yesterday. We've we well on the way the first hour here. We've had three or four bites and um, got a real nice fish, one for sure in the boat. And uh, there's, there's, there's a bite. We're getting, some, we're getting some touches by some blue cat. They love minnows too. And uh, got him. You see how easy that fish bit? He's not gonna be, not gonna be the one we're looking for. That's another one, I think. It's just right on the 12. That, that fish I just released was exactly 12 inches. You know, it's just like, we don't want to make a call on it. The team of Rogers and White are feeling the effects of the weather change. We were in fourth place coming in today. Conditions have obviously changed. Uh, cloudy, cold front, uh, colder wind temps probably around 40, 42 degrees. Water temp is still good though. We're still showing good water temp. That rain, washed a little mud, a little debris down in the water, just makes it a little more cloudier. But uh, I think if we, if we stay persistent today, we'll be able to get them. Uh, they're just a little slow right now. Yeah, man, we got uh, we got five fish in the, in the live well right now, and uh, we just we out here trolling this eight nine foot of water, probably about about four to five foot deep, uh, mostly straight minnows. Hey, they kind of pretty pretty good sized minnow we putting on there, and uh, they uh, they uh, they uh, hit it there now other people using different stuff. We tried some jigs and minnows and just didn't just seem to seem like the straight minnow work better. So we that's what we're sticking with and just gotta try to find that depth. We got some poles. We had we had the depth earlier where they was biting at and man this, we ain't had a bite in an hour or so so we switched them up a little bit. We shallowed up some poles and and deepened up some other ones. We got eight poles out, so you can kind of stagger around and, and uh, you know, try to, you know, that, that depth and speed. That's you. That's a couple of key key items on these crappie. Whoop! Got one clip. Oh my! <laughs> well, we know one thing, folks. The crappie have spawned. But I tell you what, today, thank you, Lord. I'm just glad I got a crappie. That's your future Grenada Lake three pounder. About three or four more years, it'll be there. But anyway, it is a crappie, folks. That's our first one of the day. I'm excited. <laughs>
Well, we got here, caught one within the first five minutes and then missed a couple more and then we have not had a bite since. It, it seemed like that first little rain come through and it just quit. I mean, then the temperature started falling. Cold, muddy water is the worst thing you could ever want for crappie fishing. They don't like uh, cold fronts down here. It's a tough day. We've got a hard wind blowing, rain, temperature dropping, water temperature drop six degrees. It's a slow, slow bite. We picked up two good fish. We've had two or three other fish on that got off. They're not, they're not eating it. They're just playing with it. And it's just a real slow bite right now. So it's gonna be tough the rest of the day. The super clean team of Caps and Coleman continue to add to their limit despite the wind and rain. Got a dog. Got a good start. Got a couple good ones. Need about five more. Team Watson and Outlaw sit way out of the lead in 38th. Knowing the kind of fish Grenada Lake can produce, they continue to fish hard and put a nice limit in the boat. Make sure she's between 12 inches. Yeah, she's 13. She's good to go. She's going in the box. The wind, rain, and cold has taken center stage, but we'll be right back to see who can take home the money. b and Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, BNM has your pull. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles, the first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. BNM Poles, official pole of the American Crappie Trail. Launching a Ranger aluminum boat that's cut full of holes may sound a little crazy, but with so much closed cell foam inside, it's easy to see the added safety and stability. It's a huge confidence booster, especially with so much quality inside, along with ever new Detex, unrivaled performance, and 300 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Ranger aluminum is built to excel and priced to be yours. Power your Ranger with Evan Root e Tech. The outboards that are changing everything. Easy to own and fun to drive. The Evan Rudy e Tech G2, now from 150 to 300 horsepower. It was just so easy to drive, not having to worry about the trim. I could just gas it and go, and that's where I fell in love with the engine. I could drive my boat literally with one finger. In terms of just convenience, easy for me, the G2 is perfect. I wanted something my wife could drive with ease. I love my G2. For details, visit evanroot.com. For over 30 years, Lucas Oil has provided the very best products for the land and sea. From this success stems another amazing product from the Lucas Marine lineup, Lucas Slick Mist Marine Speed Wax. Just spray it on and wipe it off. Lucas Marine Speed Wax will make your boat look brand new and provide great UV protection. Apply Lucas Marine Slick Mist to wet and dry surfaces in sunlight or shade. It's ideal in both fresh and salt water application and prevents hard water deposits. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine products. Lucas Oil, it works. The American Crappie Trail is brought to you by b and Fishing, quality performance and service for over 70 years. By Mid-State Seed, firmly planted in partnership. Martin Metal, your source for quality buildings, roofing and lumber. By Evan Root, official engine of the American Crappie Trail. And by these other proud sponsors. After eight hours battling with wind, rain, and dropping temps, the field of teams returned to weigh-in in hopes of bringing home their part of the $54,000 purse. Each tournament, the American Crappie Trail will give away a fully rigged RT-188C Ranger boat powered by Evinrude, a prize worthy of the battle. 
Folks, I'm pretty excited. We're getting ready to give away a Ranger Bass Boat to the first place person, but let's get started. 1221, that's a big old jump from the two pounds you guys weighed yesterday. I might get you in the check line. Thanks for fishing with us. Good luck to you. Thanks Hope to see you later. Boat number 43, Kent Watson, Matthew Outlaw, and you got a big smile on your face. Seven fish string. We're going to get to this. Look at this. Jumping up. 260 yesterday. 1605 today. Get you an 1865 total. Going to take 875 to knock off Kent Watson, Matthew Outlaw. Let's see if the boat number 23 of Jeremy Aldridge and Clint Egbert can do it. Five fish. We're going to have 9.9 .9 pounds to take the lead. What are we going to see, guys? Look out, 1134. We got a new set of leaders, guys. Jeremy Aldridge, Clint, got boat number 48. The team of Terry Stewart and Cole Stewart. Got seven fish string here. 9.15 to get you off the seat. And I tell you what, we got some heavy sack here, guys. Let's see what, get over here. Let's take a look at this. Hold the phone, look out, 1439, you guys are the new leaders. Second place after day one, the super right, clean guys, team of Caps and Coleman Let's only see. brought in three fish, weighing 6.99 pounds. Not enough to put them in the lead. Folks, let's get ready, let's get up here. Ron Bilbrey and Thomas Hankins. <laughs> guys, let's shade it out here, 10.36 pounds to take it. Who's gonna be our next champion here at Grenada Lake? 1453, Ron Bilbrey, Thomas Hankins, you guys are our 2017 Grenada champion. It's incredible. What a, what a great feeling. First time on Grenada Lake, first time with the American Crappie Trail. And what, what a first class organization this is. This is unbelievable. Today, we tried spider rigging at first. Didn't work out, them fish weren't in there. So we went right back to the shallow water and we, we found our fish that we left the, the day before. Over a two pound average adds up to victory for Ron Bilbrey and Thomas Hankins. Their 29.50 two day limit bettered the rest of the field by more than two pounds and took home their share of the $54,000 purse. Father and son team of Terry and Cole Stewart was second with 25.33 pounds and Ronnie Caps and Steve Coleman ended up in third. Join us next week as we travel to Lake Darbone in Louisiana for the second stop on the American Crappie Trail.